Well, children, in continuation to the practical number three, but it is exercise number six, we are supposed to study about the blastocyst stage of the embryonic development in mammals with the help of a permanent slide, chart, model, or a photograph. What's the principle lying behind this? You see, after the process of fertilization, there would be a diploid cell formed that's called zygote. So the zygote starts moving by the help of the cilia lining the fallopian tube towards the uterus. So zygote will start undergoing mitotic division, but it's a special type of mitotic division wherein there is no growth phase. That's why you find a single zygote has been just divided to form many number of the cells but without any growth phase and such type of division you call it to be the cleavage. Slowly after the fifth cleavage onwards wherein we cannot keep a track of it, the first solid ball of the cells is the embryonic stage called the morula. Then the cells continuously keep on dividing and in the later stage they form a cavity bearing embryonic stage and that is said to be blastula if it is in frog, blastocyst if it is in human beings. The internal structural details of this blastocyst can be observed in its transverse section. Well, the permanent slide of a blastocyst chart or a model, a compound microscope, lens cleaning solution and a paper, they are the requirements. What are the characteristic key features of this blastocyst? Of course, it is pericle, hollow, but embryonic stage during the development. It encloses a cavity called blastoceal. Look at the term here, seal itself is indicating its cavity. The wall of this blastoceal will be made up of single layer of the cells and that's said to be trophoblast or troph ectoderm. There would be another inner cell mass. This inner cell mass has the capacity to develop into any sort of the tissue or an organ. Trophoblast will provide a physiological support, organizes into an extra embryonic membrane. Extra embryonic membranes like that of the amnion, allantois, yolk sac, like this. So here, the inner cell mass is designed to become an embryo. That was the key factors or features of the blastocyst. Have a look at this beautiful diagram. So this is diagrammatically represented. This is how it appears in the microscope. See children, there is trophoblast, single layer of the cells, then blastocyl and inner mass of the cells. Okay. Anyhow, in both the cases, we are seeing one glistening layer outside. This glistening layer is said to be the zona pellucida. So beautifully, it protects the blastocyst till it starts up with its implantation. Well, here we would have focused the slide during the examination and what you are supposed to write is the characteristic features after its identification. So this is how it appears. The inner mass of the cells, we call it embryoblast. Okay, what's the secret behind taking out all the transverse sections and observing it so beautifully is this. That's why we say there is a physics behind learning biology and this device it is nothing but the microtome. So here we just put a small tissue and then we just take out the sections and then observe it under the microscope. Hats off to the inventor of the microtome. And that was it about the study of the blastocyst. Thank you.